Hello there, my name's Ashley Shaw and I'm here today just to have a few words with you about ISIS. Now, before the uh, summer, before Parliament in Britain broke up for the summer, I was quite alarmed when um, David Cameron remarked that if we didn't stop ISIS, they would be banging on our doors. Now, at that point in time, ISIS wasn't even really in the news. Nobody had really been following what was going on with ISIS. It was just um, yet another um, fight, infight in Iraq. This is, how, this is what we were led to believe. And so my ears pricked up slightly when I heard this comment from Mr Cameron because it seemed completely out of place at the time. And I mentioned to other people, this, if that isn't scaremongering, I don't know what is. Anyway, obviously over the summer and things, things escalated massively and suddenly ISIS, which in fact, um, well, ISIS, is that its actual name? Because it seems that uh, they call themselves the Islamic State and um, the United States and then Britain followed suit, calling it ISIL, uh, which stands for Islamic State in the Levant. Uh, the Levant being the whole area um the whole of the area, in fact. So I was already beginning to query this whole situation. It seemed very much to me like is scaremongering and Islamophobia. And then obviously um, we, over the last few months, there have been many, many links um, showing things like, for instance, um, Muslims that are supposedly in ISIS, ISIL, IS, whatever it is you want to call them. I mean, that for a start, nobody can actually settle on what they're called. But um, they couldn't even pray in the same direction. Now, I'm not a Muslim, but I know that when, when Muslims pray, they all pray in the one direction, towards Mecca, if I'm not wrong. And yet, in this video, they were praying all over the place. So that was a bit that was a bit concerning as well, wasn't it? Really, and the um, our government's fear mongered so much, making it sound like um, the whole of the Muslim world would race towards uh, Iraq and join ISIS because everybody wanted this caliphate that ISIS were claiming they stood for. Well, that just hasn't happened, and you know why? Because ISIS has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with Islam. They might call themselves the Islamic State, but they are nothing at all to do with Islam. And 99.9% .9 of the Muslims from around the world condemn, condemn the actions. They don't want to join them, they want to condemn them. And they are doing. Um, many, many um, Muslim countries have condemned. And also over the past few months, um, there were some, um, in fact, Edward Snowden himself, uh, the WikiLeaks guy, um, he uh, had actually said that ISIS was made by Mossad, which is Israel, and backed by America. And over the last few months, we've been getting quite a few um, pictures and links of so-called ISIS terrorists being treated in Israel. Now, this was all just put down as pallywood, as everything is, to Israelis. It's all pallywood. It's all make-believe. It's all pallywood. Until this very week, the Jews News, um, which is uh, an online Jewish newspaper, as you can understand, they also have a Facebook page, and they had posted how horrified they were that Israel, this very week, have been treating so-called ISIS terrorists in hospitals in Israel. Now, if you're not questioning that one, I don't know what's going to make you question. Also, to me, a really telling thing is the fact that um, over the past few weeks, Israel have been in control of the Holy Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is the third holiest site in Islam. Now, really, if ISIS was this big Islamic threat and caliphate that they're claiming it to be, surely they would have condemned Israel's actions. Now, there's been an absolute massive lack of any condemnation whatsoever. I mean, really, you would have thought at this point in time, ISIS would have put down everything, would have turned round away from Iraq and Syria, and would have been marching towards Israel to put things right. 
but not even condemnation. Not even condemnation. So if you're busy still thinking that ISIS is some Islamic threat, it isn't. It isn't an Islamic threat. It's a threat, yes, but not, not from Islam. It seems to me that ISIS has been taken over. What it might have started off being, it no longer is. And it's been used and manipulated by governments, both Western and ones around the actual area itself, for their own purposes and their own gains. So please, you don't have anything to worry about. ISIS are not going to come to our doors. They're not. Well, for a start, other Muslims in this country, and in your country if you don't live in Britain, they're not going to let that happen. Because it isn't Islamic. No matter what you're being told. Thankfully, the British government, when they were uh, talking about going to bomb ISIS, they made it quite clear that ISIS has nothing to do with Islam. Unfortunately, other countries seem to be having a holy war. Now, America and Americans. ISIS, ISIL, whatever it is you want to call it, is not the threat. Our governments are the threat. There is a sinister plot going on. And no matter how you say it, it is a sinister plot because nothing adds up with it. Nothing. So please start to question for yourself. Why hasn't ISIS condemned these actions? Why is Israel treating so-called Islamic terrorists in hospitals so much so that Jews News are upset about it and wondering what on earth's going on? Well, Jews News, Israel has a very large part to play in this whole scenario. And if, you're, if their treatment of these people doesn't show you that, then nothing is going to open your eyes. But for the rest of the world, please understand, Islamophobia is not acceptable. ISIS do not speak for Muslims. ISIS do not speak for Muslims. They seem to be speaking for governments. They seem to be acting for governments. There is a much deeper plot here. ISIS is not Islamic.